Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Wrench Art Reviews. I'm Anthony and today we're gonna talk about getting your photos printed locally and online, so stay tuned. All right guys, so recently, I got kind of inspired as I was shooting some of these YouTube videos and creating more content for our online social media stuff. And I wanted to get some stuff printed. So in the past, I had gone to our local guys. So let's take a look at some of the work that they've done, which is your, your Walgreens, Walmart, uh, for us, Fred Myers, one of those guys. So a while back, I ended up getting some of these prints done. So as you can see in this photo, that, that was an old banner for the Rent Start Experiment. It's kind of a dull, uh, dull coloring. There's another one, Run Alaska. That was a video that we ended up shooting a while back. And then of course, our brand and our emblem, WOE. So we got these printed from a local guy and they did okay. I think these are all right. The cost was there. You just go online, go to their website, upload a couple of photos, you show up in an hour or two, and bam, they come out of the machine and you're good to go. So definitely a, an option. Are you guys using local printers? Comment below and let us know. These are okay. So as I've gotten more into photography over the last year, year and a half, I've also printed a couple other photos, but these were the most recent. And I wanted to get and kind of expand my horizons. What else is out there? Who else is doing stuff? So a few years back, we went on a vacation and we ended up getting some books made. And the reason we did that was, you know, how can we share some memories in kind of a bigger, bigger picture? And these were a bunch of photos that we took when we were on va vacation in Seattle. So this was really cool we got these through shutterfly now if you guys don't know who shutterfly is i'll put the link below but these guys are huge in the online photography printing world um, if you go to best buy you'll get shutterfly like coupons if you purchase camera equipment or drones that's these guys and they did a pretty good job on these however some of the photos i wish would have came out better and you know, that obviously was my fault, but I didn't exactly know how these were gonna come out on the bindings of the, or on the covers of the books, on the backs of the books, in the pages of the book. Um, we ended up getting a couple of these made. And for the most part, they, they served its purpose well. Why? Because this is just a memory book. It, we have it out on the coffee table, so when friends or family come over, they can take a look at them. We also like taking a look at them as well. So, <clears throat> what triggered for this video to be made. So really simple, I uh, wanted to get some more prints made um, with doing a lot of content recently. I got kind of inspired with cleaning up the garage. If you watch the vlog at all the Martini Project, you'll see I've been working on the garage a lot. I wanted to add some photos to that and I wanted to be a little bit more inspirational, add some fonts and just make my, it's just personal photos. So. Um, with doing that, I went online and looked up, hey, who else is out there that does great printing? So I went and looked at YouTube, I went and looked on all kinds of other guys' sites, and I came up with a company called MPix. So we're not affiliated with MPix at all, but these guys did a fantastic job. So let's take a quick look at what we had printed. So we updated our, our branding. So there's the new WOE, Wrenched Out Experiment emblem. Here is a photo of the V-Rod with uh, s some inspirational, motivational things I put on there. So be free, drive fast, own your path. And these photos <coughs> were cost effective. They came in at a close price point, if not even cheaper to some degree, than our local guy. And the way that they came out was fantastic. So I did use Photoshop on these, obviously, in Lightroom. Um, this is a drone shot here in Alaska. Be big, be bold, build every day. That's what that one says. This is Project Black Hawk, which is a video I did uh, with the uh, 2017 Camaro. And then, of course, another Camaro shot, which is don't stop, don't quit, listen, and learn. So all of these came out 
pretty close to life as far as what the photo looked like when I sent it in. It's very vibrant. We The only coating we had was the, there's a coating that they put over the photo itself. It doesn't change it, it just adds um, life to the photo as far as sitting in a frame for a long time. So it's almost like an anti-aging coating. Doesn't change it, doesn't add the shine or anything. These are fairly shiny photos. They do have a lot of options, just like Shutterfly and some of your local guys, but these guys came out great. The other cool part was, and I don't have the packaging at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, is that these were all graded by someone. So a guy inspected every one of these to ensure that they came out as good as they possibly could. Now, that was the interesting thing with MPix. Um, unlike with Shutterfly, at least from my experience with Shutterfly, is you send the photo in in whatever size or design you want, and then they print it and then they send it back. You can add options to it, which is great, but you don't get that personal element where some person is standing there and being like, you know what, this is blurry, the contrast, saturation, um, or any of those other things are out of tune, so the photo's not gonna come out great. But these guys did, and they did a fantastic job. So let me show you a couple other large photos that ended up getting printed as well. So here is one, and there is an inspection tag on it. And this is a family photo, a black and white, that I ended up getting printed. Now, it did come like this, so you can see it's got some tape up in the corners, it's on a thick piece of cardboard, and it's stamped by the guy that inspected it. Now, this is one of the family photos I recently got done. I did have it with the same coating as the other photos, plus what's called a metallic blend on it, which adds kind of a, a shiny uh, coating into the photo itself. So I know that that's kind of hard to see, but you can see the light reflection on this. And this is obviously one of their pre-built uh, collages. And I really like how it came out. It looks really good. We've got you know multiple pictures of the family. And this is just a great example of what these guys can do for you. So here's one example. Let me show you another one. And this one, so, so that one I, I was pretty comfortable with. Each one of the collage points, if you're gonna build it, it does tell you the size of the photo. So make sure and either resize the photo or have a photo large enough to where you're gonna get whatever your subject matter is or your person or, or whatever it is you're trying to put into the collages or the area um, correctly. So here's another one. This one's kind of cool as well. I Same coatings, everything on it. It was also inspected as well, as you can see the, the glare of the light. Um, let's see if I can get it up there. So what's cool about this was, this was one of the first times I ended up getting, well, the second time, I guess, getting a drone picture um, printed and it came out really good. So I'm very happy with that as well. So let me turn this. So, these guys have a whole bunch of options. These are just a couple of them. But really the point of this video was, you know, I, sh I shot some photos. I ended up doing what I wanted. I got some family photos. I got um, two different collages. I got some photos for the garage, for the garage update, which will are gonna go up right after this video. But it kind of triggered my thought on, you know, I've used local guys for the majority of my life. I have, you know, like I said, I did use uh, Shutterfly. But an interesting thing that came to my mind was, you know, for for amateur photographers, maybe semi pros or pros or whatever it is, you probably have your selected uh, guy to use. But I would definitely consider if you're using the local guy, and I mean local guy as in like the big box stores where you just send it in online, and you go down and pick it up, big machine just prints it out. Or if you're using a guy that uh, just prints them out, I would suggest kind of looking around. And there's a couple of reasons why the the price point on these isn't that bad it really isn't um the quality is definitely worth it if you're taking a high quality photo if you're using a great camera uh like i, I was using the add for those photos or if you're using uh any anything really even your cell phone but the bigger part is you took the picture for a reason now more than likely you have a story 
you have a subject, you have something in there that means something to you. And to just get it printed and then you throw it up on the wall, you're kind of missing the point and you're missing the opportunity to really tell whatever story it is or really show uh, whatever it is you're trying to show with that photo. So I would definitely consider. Now, is MPix the end all for me or for us? No, probably not. But for right now, we're super satisfied with them. We're also, you know, like I said, Shutterfly's done a good job. I'll put links to all of those guys below, but who are you guys using? Comment down below and let us know what you guys think of NPIC, Shutterfly, and anybody else that you guys have used. So I wanted to do this video because I was getting prints done and I thought, you know, like I said earlier, I've used the local guys for too long and lost the opportunity to really have well-developed photos. So going into the future, we're definitely gonna use MPIX uh, at least over the next while. And if someone else comes along, great, and we'll, we'll probably change it up. But for now, the, those are the guys we're using. Shipping's great on them, um, and then they do look at it. It does take a couple of days to process, depending on how many photos and what kind of photos you have and are having developed. So that pretty much wraps us up here. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Um, we're gonna continue doing some of these off the wall review videos of photography. I wanna do a drone photography video where we talk about some of the aspects and hurdles that I've uh, done and, and seen with shooting photos from the sky with a drone. And uh, we'll just keep going. So thanks for checking us out. If you guys haven't subscribed, you like this video and some of our others, make sure hit that subscribe button at the end and down below. So if you also have some time, don't forget we've, we're on Facebook. That's where we actually upload a lot of our own photos. So if you're interested in some of the photos we're shooting, uh, Rent Start Experiment on Facebook and Instagram as well. The links to those are below. So thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to comment below on who you guys are using. So until next time, take care and we'll see you around.